season all together, coming to the conference tournament, playing Wisconsin Lutheran. Tell us a little bit about how that game went down. Well, unfortunately, it was a four, four quarter game. We played three quarters of really great basketball, pretty much dominated the game for the first three quarters. And then the roof just fell in. Uh, we got outscored 27 to nothing in that fourth quarter. We just couldn't hit a shot. Um, I thought it was going to work the other way because we, we played a lot of our bench and I felt like fourth quarter would be our strongest quarter and it turned out to be our weakest quarter. So um, yeah, that was a tough way to end a really good season for us. We were really proud to get into the conference playoffs. We had a shot at a home court game in the playoffs. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty disappointing the way it ended. But all in all, it was a really good season for us. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of excitement about the program going forward. One thing I was really impressed about that game was how you shut down Dowden. She came back uh, NAC Player of the Year last year. We were kind of worried about how she would play, but I think you guys game planned really well for her. Yeah, fortunately, the good side of it was we shut down their inside game. Unfortunately, their outside game was spectacular. I think they hit 15 or 16 threes a season high for them so you know it's tough to do both and we chose to shut down the inside game with the idea that we were going to give up some outside shots um, had no idea they were going to be able to shoot at that high of a percentage and that and that frequently they actually had more three-point field goals than they did two-point field goals by a, a substantial margin in that game so we tried kind of picked our poison and uh, we got burned by it there in the fourth quarter so losing four seniors, what are your main points when it comes to recruiting in the offseason going into next year? Yeah, we're pretty well set for next year um, without any new incomer players. Um, we've got four girls coming in at this point. We need a little bit more depth up front um, with our, our lack of size this year, and we've got two six-footers coming in. We've got a you know, really good basis from this prior year. We, we played 12, 13 girls every game, we lose four of them. We got eight solid players returning, including three starters, four starters on any given day. So we're in really good shape. Uh, anything that we bring in will just add depth to our, our team. And uh, we're hoping to bring in a couple more beyond the four that we have coming in. So we're in really good shape. Uh, we have three of the best guards in the conference. Two of them will made first team all conference. Mm -hmm. They'll be seniors next year. The leadership is there. Uh, this could be the greatest year in uh, Concordia women's basketball history next year and really proud of the, where the programs come. Yeah, we're really looking forward to seeing it. I asked your brother last week uh, the top three traits he looks for in his recruits and he had some really good insight. What would you say your top three are? Well, without question, it's character. Uh, you know, we, we, we run a high character program, I believe, and the girls got to fit into our system as well, so that's probably number two. We, we play fast. Uh, we press, so the girls got to be pretty athletic and they've got to be able to get up and down the floor and they've got to be selfless. That's probably another thing that we look for uh, because the girls don't play a lot of major minutes. We don't have anybody that plays over 30 minutes a game in a 40 minute game and that's pretty unusual for top level players in college programs. So they got to be selfless. They got to be willing to give up playing time for the sake of the team. So those are the three top and then obviously academics is right there. Um, they've got to have the scores and the test scores and the grades, and then they've got to be able to continue that here at, college, at the university, and they got to have the right major. So, you know, all those things kind of build in together. We, we've done it with less talented players that buy into the system, and it's been just a marvelous transition for our program. Uh, all these girls that are in the program now believe in what we're doing. You talked about how next year is going to be a fantastic season. This year was really from looking at the past to now, a great season from our standards. And I would just like to ask, what's your best memory or your biggest takeaway from this season? Without question, it's the resiliency of this team. They, uh, I don't think we lost two games in a row all season. If we, you know, we did at the end of the year, actually. So, uh, but we, we were able to bounce back from adversity time and time again, both on the court and off the court. You know, I went through some medical things this year and the team just kept rolling along without me and then when I got back they, you know things just kept going so we've been been through a lot of tough things this year um, some disappoint, disappointing losses some big wins some great comebacks some, a couple games that we blew we should have won and we still bounced back uh, the team was unbelievably resilient and that is a sign of a really really tight team and we did have a, we, we had a very tight team great leadership so a lot of great honors awarded to the girls this year. Taylor Jacobson, first team, all NAC. Also Courtney Lofink, NAC Defensive Player of the Year. 
and rounding out with Crystal Core on the all NAC freshman team. Yeah, you know, getting two girls on the first team all NAC was uh, something that we didn't really envision happening. They both deserved it without question, Courtney and Taylor. And then Courtney getting the Defensive Player of the Year was really big. Uh, she led the conference in steals, led the nation in steals for quite a bit of time this year. And then Crystal, you know, Crystal came in. I knew she was going to have a, an opportunity to play as a freshman. Never envisioned her to be a starter. She ended up winning a starting position halfway through the year and had several double doubles for us with rebounding and points. Mm -hmm. So it, it was it was good to see that the, the other coaches in our conference recognized what we got going on here. Uh, after ha not having anybody on the all-conference team last year, so we got you know four different honors this year. And so it's 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 very very rewarding, and it's a testament to the program. And the greatest part is you have them all coming back. Every one of them coming back, yes. Well, we're sorry to see a great season come to the en to an end, but we're looking forward to the future. That's it for Coaches Weekly with Rusty Rogers. Thank you for joining us.